So if you didn't see, I did hit that bottle in the top right corner. Accuracy kills. Brett and I are on our way down to New England Black Wolves practice, first full team practice. We got a full weekend of events. Head to uh, Brett's favorite, Kenny Rogers, right? Called the Gambler. The Gambler. Heading down to see Kenny Rogers for a team building event tonight. Practice tomorrow, fan fest tomorrow. Um, but before we get into all that goodness, I just want to give you guys a little recap of my week. Uh, I checked out a new gym. It was called Hercules. It's a what you would call a get big gym. Tons of weights, tons of machines, and uh, I had some fun. One machine in particular I liked. I thought I could apply it to some lacrosse. Check it out. Not too bad of a setup. They got about 40 yards of turf, tons of weight benches, tons of racks, tons of machines. Uh, it was pretty cool to check out. This is the machine I was talking about, a full jammer press. The power starts in the hips and you explode through the hands. Uh, big fan of this machine. Probably be using it throughout the season. I enjoyed Hercules. Uh, this week we had our TBL weekly meeting where we talk about everything that's going on, our plans for the summer, what we have coming up, where we're gonna be for the weekend. So we crushed that meeting, got some stuff done, got some good things in the works. Then Thursday, Bretsky and I got after it with a little change of direction day. The legs feed the wolves, so obviously we wanted to get this run in and uh, get after it. What'd you think about the run, Ski? Still hurting. Still hurting. Let's get it. Start any running workout with a full dynamic warm up, focusing on getting the joints mobile, warming up the muscle tissue, obviously looking for maximum performance. The warm up here takes about 40 minutes, and uh, some people will call it a workout. Change of direction day, start off with some push-up starts. Then we go into pro agilities, focusing on keeping those hips out, exploding out of the turns, and really just trying to remain athletic. After that, we do a couple zigzag drills, forward sprint, back pedal, forward sprint, focusing on getting out of the brakes and really exploding forward. It allows for a quicker, more efficient change of direction changing the body weight from going forward and backward. Then we finished with quite the burner, a reactionary drill where one coach will point to a section of the floor in front of the net where we mostly play and you have to react and change direction as fast as possible. This drill ends when the coach throws a ground ball, breaks, and then you break it out, finish with a transition goal, top cheddar only please. 
Now let's take a look at what the drill looks like. We're closing in on uh, the good old Mohegan Sun. As I had promised with the Ask Bill, hashtag Ask Bill, um, we have some questions that came in last week and the past couple of days. Gamer Willis said, love the videos, hashtag Ask Bill. Did you ever play field? And if so, what position did you play? Well, my man, I did not um, play field in college. I actually played Division One AA football at Sacred Heart University. Shout out to Shu, Shu Fam. But in high school, I played long pole as a close defender. Bresky, what about you? You played field. What position and where? Good old Lafayette High School. Played some defense. Midi. Face off. Tack. The guy does it all. And obviously the legend at Syracuse. Look at that hoodie. Look at the hoodie. That kid knows. Another question from Christine Craig on Twitter. Hey, Christine. At Bill O'Brien 96. Hi, Bill. Favorite moments from training camp? And uh, Christine said she's looking forward to Fan Fest. Hashtag Ask Bill. I'm looking forward to Fan Fest too. Excited to see you there. Favorite moment of training camp? It's probably the first day when you get to see all your, your former teammates, current teammates, and you know that everyone's worked hard in the off season and, and getting ready. That excitement's there. Um, then my probably my other favorite moment of training camp is uh, when it's all over and you get that call that you made the squad. That's always a, a good call. What about you, Brett? Getting the call is always good. It's like... Uh your first varsity uh, honor. I'll take it. Another question from my twin's wife, Stephanie, at Bill O'Brien 96, at New England Black Wolves, at YouTube. What do you think is the biggest improvement you made in your game during the off season? Hashtag ask Bill. Well, I think that uh, just having an understanding of the game a little better, watching more game film, keeping the stick in my hands, and then, uh, Constantly improving my physical strength, conditioning, size, and speed have helped. Um, but the biggest overall improvement, I think, is confidence. I'm more confident on the floor to make faster decisions because now I've got two years under my belt, a couple years of playing summer ball lacrosse. So um, I think that's a huge improvement for me. Bretsky? Complete game awareness. Always improving, getting better. Uh, like my father always told me, watch the other other players and try to emulate them. You heard it here. And the last question I received from Twitter from Laura Daniels. Hey, Laura. At Bill96, Bill O'Brien96. Why do you think box lacrosse is yet to achieve mainstream success? It has everything people want in a sport. Hashtag Ask Bill, hashtag 315. Well, Laura, I think one of the main reasons what is um, availability and accessibility in, in certain marketplaces. Um, I think with the new commissioner, Nick, and his executive team, Kevin Morgan, Dave Rowan, those guys really have the right direction. Um, and they're gonna bring the NLL to where it needs to be, a mainstream sport, because you're right, Laura, it's, it's a fast-paced sport, a lot of goals, a lot of actions. People get punched in the face, big hits. What's not to love? Bretzky? I think I hit the nail on the head with the hammer. And that's what he's thinking, right? For sure. For sure. And with that, let me know if you guys like this format. Um, I'm gonna try to do three videos a week, recap the weekend for you, give you a behind the scenes look at what's going on. Gonna recap the week for you. And then I'm gonna do probably a special video each week whether it's more specific into my dynamic warm-up, gym routine, what's in my gym bag, things of that nature. 
With that, I will leave you with this public service announcement. Hey, Black Wolves fans, Bill O'Brien here, wishing you a happy Flex Friday. Fit tip of the day when planning out your workout for tomorrow, plan to be down at Mohegan Sun for the New England Black Wolves Fan Fest. For more details, check out www.blackwolves.com. It's a fit tip because it's good for your health. Bill O'Brien and the New England Black Wolves do not take responsibility for excessive claiming bang. Let me hear you howl.